It's 10 trivia questions on New York TV shows. I'll give you a description. You tell me what show we're talking about. This is Trivia with Buds. What it be? And welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out the show. Thanks for leaving iTunes reviews. And thanks for telling a friend who loves trivia about this very podcast. Today's episode about New York TV shows. I'll give you a description. You tell me what show we're talking about. Before we get to that, we have a geek out card. And we want you to do the following challenges out loud or write them down, whatever you want to do. For movies, name six natural disaster films. For television, two celebrities that started their careers on the Disney Channel. For books, two music magazines. For music, four Christmas songs. And for miscellaneous, four celebrities with their own fragrance line. Those are your challenges for today. If you are looking to do something cool for somebody, I mentioned this the other day, but here's another thing teachers are looking for, uh, scholastic book club donations in the form of money so they can buy books for their classroom. I'm doing this for a old college friend of mine on WIU's uh, page, Western Illinois University, where I went to school. I'll be doing a show there in like two weeks. I'm very excited to go back. Uh, But one of my old college classmates is now a teacher in that area. And she said a dollar per month for each kid lets her buy these dollar books from the Scholastic Book Club. And then every kid gets a new book every month. And she had like five spots left. So 45 bucks goes right to those kids and five kids get nine books. Um, Is that how that works? $9 times five kids? Yes, $45. I'm like, did I just write out the right amount on a check? But there you go. Uh, So again, just be aware of your teacher friends this fall, because I know teachers are in need of a lot of resources and it's not like uh, it was when we were kids where everything was just like, ah, here's all your stuff. I feel like teachers have to supply their own things so much more now than they did when I was a kid. And we didn't have much when I was a kid. I feel like it was like a few cookies and a pencil. Uh, I always tell the story about how the fifth grade year, I was excited to do the D.A.R.E. program and they decided not to do the program that year. They were just like, yeah, we can't afford it. So we're going to give all the kids $3 gift certificates to Office Max instead of the D.A.R.E. program. And you wonder why that school's a three out of 10 on Zillow when you look it up in 2022. (laughs) My whole family went there. No dare program. All right. Uh, New York TV shows. We're going to jump into them right now. Here we go. Support a teacher. This is New York TV shows trivia. Let's see what you know. Number one, first show. Three strangers share an obsession with true crime and suddenly find themselves wrapped up in one when they start a podcast. Number one, New York TV shows. Three strangers share an obsession with true crime and suddenly find themselves wrapped up in one when they start a podcast. Number two, Streetwise Max doesn't expect much from the new waitress at her night job, a rich girl who has reluctantly joined the food service industry after a string of bad luck. Number two, Streetwise Max and a rich girl waitress job. Number three, Liz Lemon is the head writer for a sketch series in New York. Number three, Liz Lemon is the head writer for a sketch show in New York. Number four, Gavin, a temperamental alcoholic whose self-destructive behavior has cost him his family, works as a firefighter in post-9-11 New York. Number four, Gavin, firefighter, New York. Number five, Detective Jake Peralta, a talented and carefree cop with the best arrest record, has never had to follow the rules too closely or work very hard. Number five, Detective Jake Peralta, carefree cop, best arrest record, Number six, Marshall drops the bombshell that he plans to propose to longtime girlfriend Lily, a kindergarten teacher. Suddenly, Ted realizes that he had better get a move on if he hopes to find true love.
Number seven, a man with super strength and unbreakable skin caused by a sabotaged experiment attempts to rebuild a quiet life in Harlem. Number eight, a sex columnist and her three friends explore Manhattan's dating scene. Number eight, Manhattan's dating scene. Number nine, a documentary style look into the daily or rather nightly lives of four vampires who've lived together for hundreds of years in Staten Island. Vampire documentary. Number 10, although he has no plans to step aside as the head of Waystar Royco, the international media conglomerate controlled by his family, aging patriarch Logan Roy is contemplating what the future holds. Logan Roy, Waystar Royco, international media conglomerate, number 10. And the bonus for two points, how many seasons did Comedy Central's Broad City run for? How many seasons long was Broad City? Those are all of your questions for New York TV shows. We'll be back with the answers after this. We are back with the answers to New York TV shows. Let's see what you know. Number one, three strangers share an obsession with true crime and suddenly find themselves wrapped up in one when they start a podcast. Only murders in the building. Steve Martin, Martin Short, Selena Gomez, number one, great show. Number two, Streetwise Max doesn't expect much from the new waitress at her night job. A rich girl has reluctantly joined the food service industry after a string of bad luck. Two broke girls. Number three, Liz Lemon is the head writer for a sketch show in New York. 30 Rock with Tracy Jordan, a.k.a. Tracy Morgan. Number four, Gavin, a temperamental alcoholic whose self-destructive behavior has cost him his family, works as a firefighter in post-9-11 New York. Dennis Leary in Rescue Me. Rescue Me. Number five, Detective Jake Peralta, a talented and carefree cop with the best arrest record, has never had to follow the rules too closely or work very hard. That's till Raymond Holt shows up, the new chief. Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Number six, Marshall drops the bombshell, proposing to Lily. Ted needs to find love. How I met your mother. Number seven, a man with super strength and unbreakable skin caused by a sabotage experiment attempts to rebuild a quiet life in Harlem. Luke Cage on Netflix. Luke Cage. Number eight, a sex columnist and her three friends explore Manhattan's dating scene, Sex and the City. Sex and the City, Sarah Jessica Parker and the gang. Number nine, a documentary style look into the lives of four vampires, what we do in the shadows. The best comedy on TV right now, if you ask me. Uh, my very favorite episode of the whole series was the newest one. I think it was season four, episode five. They're trying to get baby Colin Robinson into a private school. Uh, go watch that if you have not seen it. So funny. I was laughing so hard. My wife woke up in bed and said, are you crying? And I said, a little. I was crying because I was laughing so hard. <laughs> Number 10, although he has no plans to step aside from Waystar Royco, we're talking secession. Logan Roy and Secession. Everyone was talking about that show like six months ago. In the bonus for two points, how many seasons did Broad City on Comedy Central run for? Five great seasons. Check out all those, Broad City. Very funny show. Five seasons. And there you have it, New York set TV shows. Hope you had fun playing along today. Your fact of the day is the average dog can understand over 150 words. Most of them swear words, I imagine. Like, oh, get off the blankety blank couch you know that kind of stuff average dog 150 words and we have uh that as your fact of the day thanks for listening thanks for telling a friend thanks for supporting the show on patreon even a buck helps We've got 75 people if everybody did a buck and people do way more than that that would be 75 bucks a month and i'd be like wow people like this show we have huge supporters on this show between a dollar and a $50 donation every month. Go see all the rewards you can get. Patreon.com slash trivia with buds. And we'll see you next time for more trivia with this guy. Cheers. <laughs>